meeting to the public at this time. Anybody wishing to address the board may do so. No one wishes to address the board. You'll have a chance at the end of the meeting. Minutes of the previous meeting. Board, you all have copies. Is there any additions or deletions? Motion to accept the minutes of the regular meeting of October 20th, 2008. No second. Moved by Trustee Jefferson, seconded by Trustee Becker. Any discussion? <coughs> there being no discussion, all those in favor of vote by the user side of aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carried. Uh, bills. You all have copies of them. It was Arsene. <laughs> all right, Bills, you got any additions? No. Thank you. I'll make a motion to pay the bills tonight. Second. Moved by Trustee Jefferson, seconded by Trustee Burks. Any discussion? There being no discussion, all those in favor of vote by use of side of aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carried. Correspondence. I have nothing. Thank you, ma'am. Report of the mayor and the board of trustees. First thing on my agenda, zoning board appointment. Alternates, and I only have one that we appointed before Steve Pinto, and I'll make that appointment again tonight. I'll put that in form of a motion. Second, I have a motion made by myself, seconded by uh, Trustee Jefferson. Any discussion? There being no discussion, all those in favor of vote by the usual side of aye. Aye, those so opposed, motion carried. Um, we have a resolution on the change of date for the village election. It says, whereas the next general election for the office shall be held on Wednesday, March 18th. And whereas state law general village elections be held on the third Tuesday in March. However, the village has chosen to hold the election on another date. Whereas the village with the March elections is the third Tuesday in March, falls on the 17th day of March and Packers Day, the Board of Trustees must pass a resolution that the election be held on Wednesday, March 18th. Therefore, be it resolved that the Village of Rosses Point 2009 election will be held on March 18, 2009. And this resolution shall take effect in any commission. And it's roll call vote, and I put that in form of a motion. I'll second that. Moved by the, myself and seconded by Trustee Jefferson. Roll call vote. Can I ask a question? Yes. Does this mean that then that all of the local elections that are normally held in March will be held not only in Rouse's Point, but will be held? They have the choice. Oh, they have a choice. No, yeah. no, they, they have to hold it on the They do? Okay. She would know more than that because she, they went yeah, to Just every, when we have St. Patrick's Day, when it falls on a Tuesday. The holiday? It is in Ireland. Why are we changing? Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of funny. It's a state law. It's a state law? Yes. They went to the, the okay. mayor's conference uh, and, and it was brought up by the conference of mayors. Wow. Yeah. Well, you did? It's a little about now. <laughs> anyway, roll call vote. Any other discussion? No. no. Roll call, uh, roll call vote, Trustee Jefferson. Aye. Trustee Penfield. Aye. Trustee Burtz. Aye. Trustee Baker. Aye. And I vote on it. Uh, second resolution, general election to be held on 18th of March. Therefore, I'm not going to read this whole thing. I'm just going to put, they will be, uh, the, two, the offices that will be up for election is trustees, two-year term, there will be two, justice, four-year term. And I will put that in form of a motion. Second. Moved by the mayor and seconded by Trustee Penfield. It is a roll call vote. Trustee Jefferson. Aye. Trustee Penfield. Aye. Trustee Burks. Aye. Trustee Baker. Aye. And the mayor will say, how many more do you say? Oh, okay. Next announcement. The annual Canadian Pacific Holiday Train will arrive in Ross's Point on Wednesday, November 26th. 
at 10.30 p.m. That's the day before Thanksgiving. Should be a wonderful time. All the kids don't have to go to school, and it's halfway decent hour. This year we'll be stopping on our way south, allowing residents of Ross's Point to enjoy the entertainment early this time. As always requested, a donation of canned or non-perishable foods be donated for the food shelf. Mark your calendars, don't miss this enjoyable event event. Also, on December 5th, we have the Parade of Toys. And Madam Clerk, what time will that be? 6.45. 6.45. Well, at Rouse Park. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the usual hot chocolate and all that will be served. All right. There's also, excuse me, Mayor, but the library is going to be holding a uh, reading. They're going to tell a story, a Christmas story. Oh, so that's nice. also included this year. It's a little bit different. So that's nice. Oh, okay. a story time. Thank you. Next thing on the agenda, the law authorize the mayor to sign the easement agreement with Dennis Richards. We finally got it. That's for that electric line. I need a motion for that effect. I'll make a motion for the authorized mayor to sign the easement agreement with Dennis Richards. Second. <clears throat> Moved by Trustee Jefferson, seconded by Trustee Burks. Any discussion? There being no discussion, all those in favor, both by the consent of I. Aye. Those approved, uh, those, sure. Start over again. <laughs> those not in favor? Oh. Motion passed. Uh, next thing on the agenda, moving right along, is the approval of the JNS agreement for a three year term. Now, what that is, um, I sent this contract that we've all had down to Renee, and he made many, many little changes. I think you all have copies of them like that. And the only thing they came back was uh, uh, JNS come back and said, well, I think I have a copy of the memo from them that instead of a two-year, they want a three-year. They would they, they have, we used to, we were saying two years to build, but it would allow them three years to build. Uh, that doesn't mean they're going to take full three years. They want to get this thing up as quick as possible. It's just that's the thing that bothered me most. It's so long. And uh, according according to. Uh, the code enforcement officer, we have to get a variance for that. Now, I, I always thought the village was exempt from that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I don't know that. Where do we get a variance from? The, from the, 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 the planning board. Not the planning board, it's only the zoning board. Guys, sorry. No, that's what you have to be in the What type of variance do we It's an area variance. Area variance. Uh, Tell me, speak up. I thought Mike said use variants, but I'm not. Oh, use variants. Well, whatever, whatever we need. But anyway, if we agree to this, uh, the contract will be sent, be sent to me to be signed. And with, with all the changes that Renee made, that was the only thing that they came back with. Do we need the variants before you can sign the contract? No. So what if we don't get? I. That would be, that's a good question. I'll have to call the lawyer in the morning. It's going to be a while before they get it. You're, you're talking months, maybe yeah. three months. Well, regardless, if we need a variance, JNS won't be able to do any work anyway until yeah. we get one, right? Yeah. Can't, we can't start on anything. So that might be the well, I, good thing to iron out in terms of the timeline. Well, the thing is, what I'm saying is we signed a contract, and if we don't get it, we don't get it. We just, it's no involved. Well, sign the contract so that they can move while we move. I don't think that's the right way to do that, though. I don't think you could enter into a contract if there's... I don't know. Yeah. I don't think you could sign a contract if there's yeah. something that's... Yeah. 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 It's a couple yeah. months. Yeah. Yeah. What's the difference? A couple months they're asking for a three-year extension. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't have hardware, but I'm just... Okay. We I don't want to sign the contract, but let's do it and make sure that we're leaving. I just want to get it moving. The, uh, right, we understand that. Yeah, we're also, 
Yeah. Let's get the variance first. Yeah. All right. Well, why don't you do this? Let's do this. Authorize the mayor to sign the contract with the three years after we get the variance. Very good. Or, or at the very least after we talk to Tom in terms of what, you know. Yeah. So that, uh, if, if, whatever. Is it going to take, what, you have to put it out for bid to have a public hearing? You give a variance on that. We don't, we don't to, go out. We don't have to go out. Not to go out to bid, but go out for a. We have to fill out an application. We'll present the application to the planning board. The planning board will review it. Uh, this, yeah. Yes. Yes. They'll review it, and then it'll go. They'll authorize for public hearing. Public hearing. So yeah, it'll be. Say, it'll yeah. be a uh, couple months. Oh. Perhaps it would just be something to check with Tom on. Yeah, I'll call Tom tomorrow. See whether he wants to write something about that. If, they're, the if, they're, if they're there and not voting twice. So. Right. Absolutely. I, I still think that you still authorize me to sign this on the condition that we get the variance. I'll just bring it back right before the board. Okay, who's that to? We're here. I hate to type that, John, but sometimes <laughs> we're not. <laughs> there's well, there's a little story behind that. At least there's <laughs> three of us that will be here. <laughs> Should be, if we remember. <laughs> so okay. You want to place it on hold until you speak? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll call, call Tom in the morning. Well, I think, too, if Mike's got any information, Mike Tatro for us yeah. on what is required, he probably wants to, to get that for us. It's be a good thing to do. Put a rush on that. Okay, uh, next thing on my um, is uh, per, uh, on the agenda. I, I wasn't sure about this, so I had to put on. Uh, we have a quote to get that piece of granite for that plaque, that bronze plaque for the pier, which comes will come out of I understand now of grant money. Mm -hmm. So it just asking permission to issue the purchase order for that. Okay, I'll put that forward with the motion. Yeah, everybody's on board. I think you all got a copy of what we're looking yeah. for. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who seconded it? I do. Oh, okay. Moved by Trustee Davidson, seconded by Trustee Burks. Any other discussion? There being nice. no other discussion, all those in favor of vote by the interest sign of aye. Aye. Those opposed? And mm -hmm. let's see. Re request authorization to have Melissa return the Champlain Basin uh, program of waterfront cleanup grant. Uh, if you're not aware, we got a grant of pretty close to five thousand dollars to clean up the tires and stuff. We started it. Uh, Costello gave us a uh, container, and the first fifty tires they took free. Yeah, we cleaned up the beach in that area, and, and that's as far as it's got. But the grant was to actually have divers go down and clean it up out of the bottom of the lake, but uh, it never, never took place. And we've had it for two years, so uh, we're just going to return the grant. Mm -hmm. It can be used somewhere else. It's too bad. Yeah. They have big ideas. And, we had a lot of projects we did this year. So. No, it's not that. The, pe the people that were going to do it just didn't coordinate everything together. So we need an authorization to do to, to return it. Okay. Okay. I'll make a motion to return the um, Lake Champlain Basin Waterfront Cleanup Grant. Second. Moved by Trustee Penfield, seconded by Trustee Burks. Any discussion? <coughs> I hate returning it. No, I know, but we've been pretty good. The worst that we have it, though, and we're not able to make use of it. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. not a good thing. Either. All right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. No proposed? Motion carries. Last thing on my agenda is, and this is going to appear in the paper in the next day or two, <laughs> the composting facility located on Lily Avenue in the village of Ross's Point will be open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m to 4 p.m. only. The site will be closed on evenings and weekends. Residents are reminded there will be no dumping of any item other than leaves and limbs. Now, the reason for this is it has been totally, totally abused. 
last week. Somebody decided, you know, why is the wind of waves? We don't even know where it come from. To dump a pine tree about that big, cut up in pieces about this big. And we can't do anything with it. We have to haul it away, pay to have haul it away. Uh, and we are slowly but surely running out of room down there. And I can tell you this, folks, from my own experience, and I think uh, Brian can tell you this, people from out of town are, are abusing, a lot of them are abusing it. Uh, I've seen trucks from Vermont, trucks from Champlain, trucks from Z. you know, I would say trucks, I mean pickup trucks, bringing stuff in there. There's no other, there's no other community that has this, and uh, they, they are taking advantage of us in a way. You know what I'd like to see down there a little bit is to take some of the smaller stuff and get, dig a spot in the ground where we can put this in and cover it with dirt and compost this out. So we that, do that. I know, but later, I mean that's going to take up a lot of the stuff so that later when we need topsoil and stuff, instead of buy it, you know, we'll have it. I mean, you can't do it overnight, but uh, all the leaves <coughs> and clippings are done like that, flat from day one. The things we can't. Is the limbs. You can't compost the limbs. No, no, I know that. That stuff's got to That's the, the stuff that that's where we're getting in trouble. You can see everywhere they're going. That, 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 that big tree, you know what they did? They dumped the big tree and then they dumped all the limbs on top of it so we wouldn't see it. Yeah. All right. You have this only open from Monday through Friday, yeah. 8 a.m. until 4. Yeah. And what are the people, the residents that are here? I'm sorry, John. Before? John, if BEC comes in here, we're going to. They're going to nail us to the cross. Well, you know, if we got guys at the blue building, and we have a lot of people that are, see if you see these things, does anybody call anybody or stop them, identify them, and say, what are you doing here? On the weekend? There's nobody there. But what? Well, you know, you got, a, you got a village of how many? 24, 2,500 people. Yeah. Residents. Maybe more than that. And now these guys, these people, now we're going to punish our own residents because now they can't go, they, they're working eight to four, most of them, and they're going to clean up the yards and they want to put their debris somewhere. So now we're going to force them to go to other places, landfills, when we have one that we could use? Our landfill is just about had it. Talk to Brian, Brian will tell you. Well, I'm, not saying that, I'm not saying that's not a problem. Well, they're, they, they're up there burning stuff sometimes. They burn yeah, the they, and stuff. Well, they burn it as much as they can, but well, every time what's I left know, has I to be buried. Least once a week. Yeah. Maybe not that often. Sometimes in the summertime, when I, or in the fall of the year, now that the leaves here and branches are falling, I try to go up. So I, I know the guys are busy, but you know, it's pretty convenient. I mean, I, I'm fortunate I'm retired, but how about the people that clean your yards up on the weekends? What are they doing? I know it's convenient, Chuck. I use it. I bring my leaves up there. I'll cut the bags. I use really? it. I do it. If but what I'm saying is... open at least on Saturday from like 8 to 12. Well, then you want to hire somebody up there to watch it? Well, we got people. We don't have anybody there up there on Saturday. Well, I think it's... I think well, you're... Don't forget, well, yeah, when people are cutting all the brush and stuff, it's making the village look nicer, so... We're getting something out of that too. It's just making the place look better. What is the issue, George, with the DEC? Well, first of all, if you come right down to it, and I should, maybe we shouldn't say that. George. I ain't gonna say it. Maybe we shouldn't go there. I know. I'll say time. afterwards. I'll say afterwards. Well, well I don't I want mean, it on camera. Well, but it's a public meeting. I mean, are we doing something we shouldn't be doing? Eventually, um, you're gonna have to chip all your brush. Um, the days of open burning is coming to an end. They're enforcing laws now with no open burning. So, do you still have a chipper in the building? Yeah, we, we, have a chipper. we do. Do you still have one? Yes. But that's labor intensive. So, that's, you know, back in years ago, we used to go around in the spring and the fall with the curbside pickup, and we used to go around and chip and pick up the bags. And that's what we're going to have to go back to eventually. Because the days of having open fires are done. Yeah. Yeah, the They're really cracking down. Well, that's, that's fine, but the, then if we if we go back now, we do have a fall pickup, right? We yeah. had it last week. Now that's labor intensive. Our crew is going out there. Yeah. And they're picking up the bags. But you got to bring them to. Are they bringing them to the? Yes, they, they're bringing them down to the compost site. 
but what's happening is people are going down there and they're throwing all the brush and the debris and the lumber and we found railroad ties, all kinds of garbage in there. And it's all getting intertwined and if you had to take it all out piece <coughs> by piece and chip it, you would spend days down there. Where if it was curbside, nine chance out of ten most people put it in an orderly fashion with all the, the butt space in one way so you could pull up and chip it all and then continue on. It's just yeah, it's it's so it's getting out of hand. It's just been abused. But do, do you think it only happens on the weekends? Or could it happen Monday through Friday when the when the Mon most commercial guys are working? And Monday through Friday, we pretty much watch it, and everybody has instructions to go out there. If they see somebody out there that they don't know, that looks like that they're not from the village or a commercial dumper, they go out there and they <laughs> ask them the question: Are you from the village? Are you a taxpayer of the village? And Nine chances out of ten, they are during the day. It's the weekends when we leave on a Friday and we come back in on a Monday. It looks like a tornado went through down there. Now I've seen people where I'm on my way to Champlain and they're coming this way with loads of brush. I'm not going to turn around and come back because I'm on my way to go somewhere. Wow. But this is like on Saturdays and Sundays. It's just not being watched, which you know. I agree there probably should be a Saturday morning where it should be open for a couple hours, you know, four hours maybe, from 8 to noon would be nice. You would have to pay overtime. Saturday's the biggest day for people probably to do the artwork. Yeah. I agree which, with you guys. I'm not disagreeing with you, but, you know, we've got, you've got to be practical about this thing. It's going to cost us, if we get hit, it's going to cost us dearly. How much use, Brian, is there Monday through Friday, 8 to 4? It can't be that much. There can't be that many people out. You have you have on an average on Monday through Friday. You have an average between ten to twelve people up there a day, from seven thirty to four. It's constant. You have the same ones all the time that are bringing up leaves and grass clippings weekly. You know. That, that's not a problem. That's no. Not we can compost, so that right. That's not a problem. And we do compost. The we haul all the leaves out of there, and there's a big compost pile behind the wastewater treatment facility that we have separate piles that's been there for years and we keep rotating them and we are going to use that topsoil eventually once it rots down. Everyone's in line, just got to turn it. Got to turn it over. Yep. Got to put lime on it. I went up there one time, Kelly went up there one time with brush, right? And that was a whole bunch of kitchen cabinets. Oh, I know. I know. And it's, oh, when I, people I abuse it, it's a really terrible yeah, thing. It's true. true. But I, I do, you know, we, we had this discussion maybe three years ago, four years ago, and it's just very difficult. If we're gonna if we're gonna leave this open at all, I think it's very difficult for us to justify in, in taking into consideration all of the abuse, it's very difficult for us to justify eight to four Monday through Friday. Because most people who work Monday through Friday, whether they work that shift or a different one, a lot of people are doing their cleanup on the weekend. It's just the way it is. I, Maybe over the course of this winter, we can come up with a better way, you know, if we really put our minds to it, or so that by springtime we're ready to go with a better schedule for people. I just would like, you know, like you said, you, yeah, we don't necessarily want to hire someone for a Saturday, but it would be nice to allow people who can't get there during the week. Yeah. And really, when you think about it, if somebody from the village goes up there on Saturday and gets rid of their clippings, what do we care? You know, they're paying taxes, you know. Don't mind that. Yeah. yeah. When they come up there and dump a whole tree on you. Yeah. And then bury it so that you can't find it. Yeah. That's what you're mind. We're, we're left over with so much waste debris that, you know, I don't know if you're going to have to get a container eventually and fill a container and have that sent out. And, yeah. you know, you're opening up a... Put a camera up there, Jerry. I mean, chips you can compost. And a lot of people would take wood chips. Right. You know, so they, they ask, you know, if there's a pile of wood chips, can right. we have some wood chips, which is fine. I mean, I can remember the days where we used to be out and chipping brush. People would stop us with the truck and say, what are you doing with the wood chips? Can I have them? Can you dump them? You know, and they put them around their bushes and stuff. It was, yeah. you know. It just seems like maybe we could come up with it. We found we found we found uh, refrigerators up there, paint cans. I mean we're not a we're not we don't run a dump.
Yeah, and like I say, come up with a better way because it's probably, like you say, it's not our residences that are that are, that are abusing. Good, so we're penalizing our people exactly. for the use of the weekend. When you mention that, that you're asking the guys if they see people, have they have they actually had occasion to go over and talk to someone who yeah. may not be there properly? Whenever they see somebody up there, they'll ask them if they're from the village. Right. And nine chances out of ten, they'll say, "Yeah, I live at." They'll give the address, or you know, or we're cutting this for a lady up on uh, Edgewater. Or, you know, they'll, they'll tell us. You know, and if they are from, the, yeah. huh? They're doing that. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But a lot of times you see a lot of activity after four and weekends. It's constant. Unfortunately, that's probably when most people though are able to do. But up. there's a lot of people from the outside know that the village works from seven thirty to four and. If nobody's around, they're not going to get questioned. Which, you know, you can't blame them because if you lived outside the village, you'd probably try to do the same thing because it is getting hard to get rid of. I don't even think the Moore's land dump takes it anymore. Brush. No. No. And I know the village of Champlain is having a hard time getting rid of their brush. They're actually, I heard they're looking to get containers and put into containers and have Northern haul it away. That could get expensive. Let's study it. Oh, enough said. I don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. That's it for me. I don't know. It hasn't been sent out yet. No, I didn't send it because yeah, I didn't know what the decision okay. was. Let's sit on it for another week or so. Or no, you want to at least put a warning out that it's for the village residents and. And, and the description of what we take and what we don't take. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that if people violate this and get caught, they will be fined. Put the crime dog up there, Tom. What if you yeah. I have no problem with that, right? No, I have no problem with yeah. that. I know it's a problem. At least give a stern warning to people that if they get caught dumping waste debris up there, that they will be fined. We'll come up with a local village of honor for illegal use of the dump. Compost. Compost. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to call it a dump. We want to call it a composting oh, site. Yeah, exactly. We don't run a dump. You'll have DEC here in a ton of breaks. Oh, don't, don't say that. Not a dump. Okay. All right. So for me, uh, trust, Trustee Jefferson. Okay. Uh, the water storage tank maintenance. The repairs to the water storage tank are now complete. All the welded joints have a stainless steel coupling welded over them. We are now in the process of filling the water storage tank. George tells me it's full right now. We'll then have to complete the required sampling in order to put the water tank back in service. At this time, if we don't encounter any problems, I would anticipate that the water storage tank should be back in service sometime next week. Hallelujah. No. No? If the test comes back tomorrow at noon, okay, the water tank is in service tomorrow at noon. Hallelujah. Right. Well, <laughs> And the bags come off, and then they will start servicing the hydrants for the winter. Okay. The only other thing I don't have it on the agenda. I haven't really said too much about it, but it's been bothering me for a while. Um, it looks the way the, the economy go, is going that uh, we're in a recession. There's no doubt about it. Now, a couple years ago, we got hit with that extra money going into the retirement system because the return on the the all the state retirements is not working out so that's something i think we should look at because i think we're going to see next year that they're going to do what they did before we had it was 50 or a hundred thousand dollars extra that we had to kick in for the retirement remember that person oh, yeah. yeah so i don't know what's going to happen and i'm not a economic forecaster but the, the way things are going you can see i think we should look at our our budget that's going to be coming up and and we should realize that maybe we have to tighten up a little bit the village and we should encourage the state government to tighten up well hey all the people that are voting these guys are not going the way we want we should get rid of them so that's the only thing i just want to just keep in mind when we start thinking about the budget is that it? Yeah, that's all I have. <laughs> Thank you, Trustee Jefferson. Trustee Bentville. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 I see you wearing blue. Does that have any designation? No. Nope. Negative. Does that have a statement? No. Conservative. I have a 
not, I can't possibly follow anything. I have a <laughs> Thank you, Trustee Benfield. Uh, Trustee Birch. I would like to authorize travel for a zoning and planning board members to attend a training in Plattsburgh, and that will be the service for local officials. But then a second. form of a motion. Second. Moved by Trustee Burke, seconded by Trustee Penfield. Any discussion? There being no discussion, all those in favor, vote by user sign of aye. Aye. Those opposed? You, know. you had discussion? I know, I just let you know it was November 20th. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought Sorry. I was going too fast Sorry. for you. <laughs> <laughs> Where okay. are I going? Is that it? There's a fast train coming through town. <laughs> You're done. I am, sir. Trustee Baker. Nothing. You want Thank you. Thank you. Trustee Becker. Oh, okay. Madam Clerk. No. Thank you. Arsene. I want to report on the meeting that I went to the county on, um, I don't remember if it was last Thursday or prior Thursday, time flies. But it was a re, uh, meeting regarding uh, the tax program that the Clinton County Treasurer's Office wants to get. Uh, they decided that they are going to accept a bid of an Allen Tunnel Corporation for the following reasons. Uh, the software will provide free of will be provided free of charge to all municipalities. Reduced maintenance fees resulted in savings to the county and municipalities. Computer interface between the county and municipalities, which will streamline collection and relevy process. For example, there will be no need to post tax rolls, which the village doesn't. Facilitate balancing process, expedite relevy process, etc. Uh, they'll have internet access to tax information for the public, resulting in reduction of telephone calls and walk ins. And they'll have the ability to accept credit card payments benefiting local and out of area taxpayers. That's for payment on the internet only. The maintenance fee uh, the county will charge us for the next five years $300 a year. The first year will be nothing. Uh, so that would be a savings to the village of $200 a year. Now, I don't know if you've seen in the paper or not, but there's a lot of controversy regarding what's going on here. And I received a letter today from BAS, which is the company that we have our current tax program with. And uh, they're letting us know that uh, they're sending a letter of protest to the county executive asking that this project be rebid because they have found several.